Hey there, YouTube! Whiskey Cactus here, welcoming you back to our Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition Let's Play. This is episode number 26, and last time we made it through the mountains and have arrived at the desert. And apparently there's an oasis town further up the desert, so we gotta make it to there, and that's kind of what we're aiming to do today. I don't know how long that's gonna take. I imagine it's not gonna take very long, is it? <laughs> we got a little cactus! Got a little whiskey cactus over here. Hold still. Are Only you a little whiskey? Way. Oh no, you're not a whiskey cactus. You're a green spider. And you're a little whiskey cactus. Alright, well we are a little beaten up. Uh, because we did have a boss fight at the end of the episode. Uh, last time. It ended up being a slightly longer episode, which I don't mind. I certainly don't mind that. I hope you don't mind that. Um... But uh, I'm a little surrounded over here, so any help you might want to give me, Carol, would be vastly appreciated. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. Alright, this little cactus is a pain in the ass because it's a small enemy that we can't necessarily kill very easily. I'm paralyzed. That's wonderful. You could, you could cast Recover, Estelle. You could do that. You could totally do that. That'd be great. See, I gotta rely on Carol to heal me instead of my healer. And that's a problem. I would prefer if my healer... Oh, my healer's paralyzed. That's the problem. Okay, I don't like this desert very much. This is an encounter link. That's why there's so many enemies, guys. <laughs> Jesus. No, you don't need an orange gel. We only have, like, two left. You still have the same amount of TP that you had the last time you asked for an orange gel. No. <laughs> you can have an apple gel, that's fine. I think we still have some of those left. Alrighty. Well, this, this battle's taking forever. Alright, well hopefully we can get to this oasis town quickly. And then we should be good to go. We can stock up on everything we need. There's this two and spirit healer. Okay, let's take a take a quick restock before we continue on. Let's take a quick restock. Oh, wait, excuse me, excuse me. This I'm still not used to this stick. It's very very persnickety. Um, I need arts. I need you. I need you to cast recover on. There we go. Cast cover on recover on yourself. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Not skills, equipment. All right, so you're still working on that. That's good. You're working on those, that's good. You have everything you need from this. Perfect. So we need, just need to give you this because that's the only thing that you still haven't learned your stuff from. So go ahead and take that. That's good. You're good there. You've learned everything from, from this. So we need to give you this. Okay. You have learned everything from that, so you need something new. So you have three new things. I think we'll start with the halberd. Okay. You've gotten everything from that, so you need that. Alright, alright, alright. You have everything from that, so we need to give you the spike bow. And you've got the lipsia, which you're still learning something from, and then we also have that thing. Very well. I think we're good. Let's head into town before the enemies get me. And here we go! We're in the Oasis Town. Perfect opportunity to stock up on items and stuff. Seems like a pretty sleepy town. Well, it's in the desert and everybody's tired and heat exhausted, I guess. Well, in this heat? Right? There are knights even here, though! Yeah, in full armor, because they're fucking crazy. I don't recall seeing such intimidating people here the last time I came. Well, that's interesting. All right, I'm off to search for clues about the treasure. Bye bye for now. Bye bye for now, Patty. You're leaving? Oh, -ho! so you want me to stay a little longer, eh? That's because he has a crush. Well, it's been fun and all, but I'm sure Patty's got things she needs to take care of. Uh, then I guess it's time for me to be off. Bye, Patty. I'm sure we'll see you again when we rescue you from another monster. Be careful out there. All right. Well, now what? All right. Shall we each go our own way for now? I guess. 
On for that. Before I do anything, I want to give these feet a rest. Okay then, let's meet up in front of the inn after sunset. Okay, see you then. All right, everybody's splitting up. Except for Rapide and Estelle. Well, no, there goes Estelle. Nope. No easy thing looking out for everybody else. Yep. Well, I think we all could use a little time to think things over. <laughs> the kids are all right. All right, so I guess we get to go talk to people. The Desert Oasis Mantaic. All right, cool. So I want to stock up on supplies, and I want to go talk to people, and we've got a skit. I wouldn't think the knights would bother coming all the way out to a border town like this. More power to them if they're really here to defend the public order or whatever, but hmm. something tells me there's more to it than that. There usually is. All right, is this the merchant? It sure is, okay. Let's uh, get some supplies. All right, so we need a ton of apple gels. Oh, excuse me. Just, mm. All right, ton of apple gels, ton of orange gels. We'll get some lemon gels and some pineapple gels. They were really useful. It's good to have a few of those. Need some life bottles. And we'll top off our magic lenses. A lot of stuff. All right. Now, I'm not sure about the... I'm not sure about this stuff. I just don't know what I need to keep and what I don't need to keep. Well, we've got we've got equipment. So once everybody gets back together, I'll have to go through the rest of my equipment. Let me see, actually see. I should be able to sell. Do I have like? Uh. Hmm. These are all probably useful. Yeah, they're probably all useful. Holy bottle I can get rid of. And dark bottle. Okay, we can get rid of those. Um, oh, I have a sage, that's important. Is that a nectar bottle? Syrup bottle? All right. That's fine. Okay, so let's go around and uh, find our party members. And have chats with them because that's what oh that's what oh, we do where are you off to nowhere in particular just going on a walk what about you where were you going i just wanted to get a look at the desert terrain we were going to be headed into next it's good to be prepared so how was it it was hot sure it was it's a fucking desert well i assumed as much <laughs> but it wasn't as hot as i thought it'd be hmm. well okay but what I wanted to know was if Pharaoh was out there. Right. That'd be nice. Oh, well. I guess we couldn't expect him to be that easy to find. <sighs> what? You want to go out and check for yourself? No, that's okay. If we head out to look for him, we should do it together. Yeah, it sounds good, especially with a healer. Oh, I see. Yeah, I mean, I don't have any intention of fighting it by myself. Okay. Well, she seems a bit conflicted. wonder what that's about. Alright, so what happens if we go down this way? I see a Wonder Chef. I see a Wonder Chef. Wonder Chef, Wonder Chef. Guess you found me. You're pretty good. I'll teach you to cook as a reward. Alright, what do we get? Curry! Yum, now I want some curry. I would be happy to have a nice plate of curry right now. That'd be awesome. But I just did just eat dinner, so... Hmm. <laughs> Alright, Estelle, what's your deal? What's going on with you? Yuri. Yeah? Hey, that's me. Face. Is the desert really as dangerous as they say? I would imagine so. I don't think Rita'd joke around with such a serious look on her face. Yeah, I guess not. I've dragged all of you all the way out here. You should stop worrying about all of us. Huh? I mean, we're just doing what we feel like doing. Yeah. But what about you? What do you want to do? M me? I... You were saying that you need to figure out who you are, weren't you? Yes, that's true, but... Estelle, you're Brave Vesperia's client. Uh-huh. 
If you tell us to go somewhere, we'll go there. And if you tell us to go for you, we'll find Pharaoh and drag him back here. Yuri. Yeah, she's not gonna do that. Then I... There's no need to rush to give me an answer. Take your time. <sighs> that was a productive conversation. <laughs> Quite productive. Is there anything else down here? Or is it just... Uh... This is nice. Look at that. Look how good that looks. Man, this game looks good. It looks really good. Alright. We got Patty over here. What up, Patty? Huh? You're still here? What? Were you feeling lonely and came to find me? Yeah, totally. Isn't the reason that you've been wandering around here because you're the one who's lonely and wanted to see me? Wow. Okay. Called her right the fuck out. You got me. <laughs> now marry me. Oh, no. 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 I'll consider it when you're an adult. Yeah. Ah, there you are. Oh, hey. Who are you? Uh, just an acquaintance of hers. He's my husband. Oh, my God, stop. Please stop. Well, whatever. <laughs> I got the info about the Maristella that you wanted. I appreciate that. But first, is it true that you're Eifried's granddaughter? Huh? It's a rumor I heard. Is it true? This, we need to put a stop to this, I think. Hmm. So, it is true. If that's the case, then I can't give this to you. If it gets out that I did business with the granddaughter of a guy who broke the guild's rules, no one will trust me. I freed is... I don't know about you, but for those of us who live in the world of the guilds, Eifried is the most unforgivable guy out there. I can't afford to be involved with someone going around claiming to be one of his relatives. Well, this seems to be a problem, doesn't it? So don't you show your face in front of any of us ever again. <sighs> and if you pull anything on any of the members of my guild out of resentment, we're not going to take it lying down. I don't think Yuri's gonna take this lying down. I can guarantee you you'll regret it if you think that World Cellar is no more than a map-making guild. But I'd never do anything like that. Oh, really? In any case, the blood of a coward who would attack ships while feigning to protect them runs through your veins. I can't even begin to guess what's running through your head. <sighs> and as for you, I don't know if you're really her husband, but I'd suggest steering clear of this one. So How about just I just kick your silence, ass? Huh? I just don't know whether he's actually my grandfather and what actually happened in that massacre. I don't know what's true and what's a lie, whether he was a villain or a saint. All I know is that my grandfather was very important to me. That is why I can neither admit or deny what people say. So you don't even know who you are yourself, huh? I know that much at least. Then wasn't there something you could have said? It's okay. I'm used to people saying all sorts of things about my grandfather. I don't care about any of that nonsense. I'll just keep searching for treasure in my own way. You're putting on a pretty tough act. You better not start crying once you're all on your own. What good would crying get me? You see, my motto is, no matter how tough the situation is, crying gets you nowhere. Well, I guess it's really none of my business. Still, it's not like you can go treasure hunting without any clues. Oh, don't worry. I've got clues. Later. Bye. <laughs> oh, poor Patty. I hope we get that sorted out. Alright, so where's the rest of the people? Are there places that I can go? Well, no, I can't go that way. Can't go in there. Well, there's Raven. Oh, here's... This is... That's the inn, so we have to meet up at the... Oh, there's Carol. But where's... Oh, is um, is Rita in here? So we're missing Rita and we're missing Rapide. Oh, there's Rita. There's a cat. There's a cat. I can't get the cat. That's so disappointing. What up, Rita? You can't open that without a key. I know. Are you really going to return it? Yes, I am. You got a problem with that? Not really. Nope. You saw what happened in Nordopolica. This thing made it so I couldn't control my magic. The clear CL crystal inside this box interferes with air somehow. Sounds like a problem. Interferes with air? How could a tiny box like this do something like that? I don't know. 
That's why I wish I could open this box somehow. Can't you smash it with a hammer? There's a good chance that we'd be able to find a key for the box in Yormgen. Yeah, wherever that is. For me, this doesn't have anything to do with Estelle wanting to return it anymore. So then you're gonna look for the town of Yormgen that was mentioned in that diary? Yes, if I can. If you can? I can't leave Estelle behind. Aww. Sure you can, if you want to. She doesn't want to. I'd like to leave her behind, but No, I can't. you wouldn't. You wouldn't like to leave her behind, Rita. <clears throat> we all know. I've never had a problem like this before. <laughs> Why? Because you're in love, Rita. She couldn't be serious about going alone into the desert, could she? Oh, poor Rita. Find Yormgen or go with Estelle? Hmm. I don't know, man. Alright, where's Rapide? So we saw, I saw Carol and I saw, um, Raven out there, but I, I have not seen the dog. I have not seen the dog. I guess it doesn't really matter. You don't really need to see the dog, but... I feel like my world is crashing down around me. Oh no. What's up, Carol? I can't believe Ruin's Gate was secretly selling weapons. And that they were smuggling them illegally out of Ruins. Imagine that. Sometimes you have to have shadow where there's light, I guess. I guess. That's so sad, though. Yeah, well, welcome to the world, man. Oh, you don't need to worry about those guys. Just keep living your life the way you know right. And lead brave Vesperia to victory with pride. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, we need to worry about Pharaoh for now. Yeah, we finally made it into the desert. It feels like we're almost there. Hey, once we're done with this commission, you think we could go back to Dongress for a bit? I guess. Hmm. Well, let's wait until we've wrapped up our current job to talk about that. Oh, yeah, sure. All right, so I'm going to talk to Raven. Uh, I don't know if I need to find repeat or not. Hey, old man. Sorry to have dragged you all the way out here. Mm. Whoa, what's with that face? Hearing you apologize like that puts me a little bit on edge is all. I mean, you still have to deliver that letter to Bellius, right? Yeah, but if I can't see her until the new moon, then that's that, ain't it? Till then, yeah. I'm at the mercy of the princess's whims. Well, well, aren't you easygoing? You sure about that? If we spend too long out here and you miss the new moon, the Don will yell at you for sure. Mm-hmm. Nah, I'm used to being yelled at. I gotta wait. I can wait until the next new moon. It ain't like we're gonna run out of new moons anytime soon. <laughs> you certainly sound patient. You sure about this? Of course. Patience is something you'll learn with age. Ugh, I swear. Well, making the right decisions is part of being an adult, too. I'll leave as soon as I feel like I have to. Anyway, let me travel with you kids for a while longer. I guess. Sure, whatever you want. Until you turn on us. He's gonna turn on us. Somebody always does. It's a Tales game. Alright, so that's the field map. I ain't seeing my dog anywhere. I ain't seeing my dog anywhere. I don't think there's anywhere else to go. I think we've gone everywhere we can. Seems like. So I'm gonna guess that uh, staying at the inn is probably the next thing we need to do. Oh. Hello. Carol, this is for you. Huh? What you got there? What's going on, Estelle? What's this? This is payment for your services. I'm sure you'll be able to sell it for quite a sum. I want to thank you all for everything you've done. You're going to try to go alone. You're going to try to go alone, and Rita's going to say no, and we're all going to say no, and we're all going to go together. So why are we even bothering with this? Huh? <laughs> what do you mean? You haven't found what you're looking for yet. I'm afraid I must take my leave from you here. Uh-huh. Take your leave? What are you gonna do? You're not thinking of going alone, are you? My desire to meet Pharaoh is a personal one. Are you crazy? That's way too dangerous! 
Which is why I must go alone. Yeah, we're not gonna let you do that, though. I won't have the rest of you caught up any further in my own selfish quest. But we're the fucking heroes. We have to. It's our job. Do just and punish the unjust. Huh? Oh, right. That's one of the laws of our guild. There's no justice in letting Estelle march into the heart of the desert all by herself. Damn right. I don't think I have it in me to break our laws. How about you, Carol? Right! It seems those are the rules. Those are the rules. I'm terribly flattered, really. But I'm afraid I can't let you. Estelle, wait! There we go. Have you all lost your marbles? We're talking about a force of nature here. Which is why we're all going together. I'll admit I'm a little scared, but I can't just let Estelle go off like that. You! You talk <laughs> some sense into them! If I start whining now, I'll have to go all the way back to Nordopolica by myself, right? That's no fun. Ooh, you're... There's no reasoning with any of you! You know you're coming, Rita. Are you sure you're dead set on this? Yes. I've thought a lot about this. You all have something that's important to you. A goal you give everything to achieve. I realized that I didn't have anything like that for myself. And I knew I had to find a purpose of my own, something I can dedicate myself to. I made the decision to begin this journey, and I have to finish what I've started. This... this is something I have to do for myself. Okay, okay, you win. So we'll be aiming for the desert center. Huh? Hey, I tried talking sense into you idiots. Mm -hmm. Rita. You tried real hard. There's actually no real need for you to come, Rita. You've got your Air Krenna research to worry about, don't you? She's not gonna let Estelle go by herself, Yuri. There's no telling what you idiots will get into if I don't <laughs> keep an eye on you. The Air Krenna isn't going anywhere. I'll go check up on it later. But we're not leaving until we've taken care of all our preparations. I'm sorry to be such an inconvenience to you all. You're a paying customer, you're not an inconvenience. I think we had a pretty good idea things would turn out like this from the start. That too. Yeah. Thank you. Huh? Where's Judith? I don't know. What's she doing? Everything settled? Yeah. Well, what did you decide? We're going to the center of the desert. I had a feeling, so I've made some arrangements. The innkeeper has agreed to help us. Ooh, interesting. We'll In what way? Be good and rested before we leave this town behind, that's for sure. You're always thinking about your next nap, aren't you? I mean, who who isn't? Yeah, but I sleep so much better if I have a little company. That's creepy. There we go. <laughs> I wonder what Pharaoh will do. Probably attack us and we'll have to fight it. Interesting. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is that the title she gets? Reunited with everyone. Alright, so, we still need to rest at the inn. Oh, we have a skit. This town's only on the edge of the desert, but the heat still got my head spinning. Youngsters these days got no stamina, I tell ya. <sighs> Whoa, no comeback from Rita. It's hot. It's so hot. I think she's so hot she didn't even hear him. Sounds about right. Alright, so we did our preparations. However, I want to go through the equipment. And I want to make sure that we have the best equipment equipped as far as, like, armor and stuff, too. Because we have I haven't really been paying too much attention to that. We don't have anything better for her. We have the same thing there, okay. You have bronze circlet, which is... We've, we've been over that one. The drop in the magic defenses isn't worth the increase in the physical defense. Okay, you have a night helm. We're good there. We're good there. You have, you have that. And us. Oh, okay. Then I guess we are good with <laughs> with all that. I thought. I thought I saw when when I was selling or when I was looking to sell that there was armor that we had that was better. Oh, I guess that was it. All right, well, I'll just sell this stuff off then. Good. 
What about this stuff? Mighty Guard? Alright, good. Is that it? That's the accessories. I'm not ready to sell. I don't usually t sell my accessories. Okay, cool. Good. Good, good, good. What do we have? Do you have weapons for sale? We can get new weapons. I'm not really inclined to do that. Um, not really inclined to do that yet. Because I have enough weapons that I'm trying to work on at the moment. So I'm going to hold off on that, and now we're going to stay at the inn, rest up, and then I guess we're going to head out. What I'll do is I will save after we rest up, just to... Can we stay oh. the night here? Hello! Welcome to the Desert Oasis Mantake. Mantake, okay. What's with this night? Well, um... <sighs> will... will you be staying the night? Yeah, we're going into the desert, so we came into town to gather provisions and get some rest first. Oh, so it's you who wanted provisions for going into the desert. It is. You know, it's... We know dangerous. It's dangerous. Oh, I see. In that case, I'll get your provisions together before you set out. Your stay will cost 400 gold. Is that okay? I guess. Have a nice day. Get some cutscene action. Gives me the creeps. It does seem kind of um lifeless and robotic almost. All these knights stick out like sore thumbs. Anyway, time to get some sleep. Sleepy times! Yeah, no, I, I, mm. But man, I just can't relax with a knight standing out at the entrance. It bothers you? Yeah, it does. If they're here to protect us, there ain't nothing wrong with that, is there? Yeah, but are they? All right, everyone, let's get some sleep. Hmm. All right. I don't know. My whiskers are twitching here. Something yeah, doesn't feel right. Um, I don't know your reasons for going out into the desert, but it would really be a good idea for you to stay in town. Thanks. We've already put a lot of thought into it. I see. Well, as I promised. What you got? Our canteens are this small? Looks like enough to me. Yeah, we should be able to get more water from certain types of cacti growing in the desert. Oh, I see. We're going to have stamina or something and have to fill... Okay. Interesting. Right. If we use them to fill up our canteens whenever we need more water, we should be fine. You sure know a lot. Thank you very much. You've been a great help. It's the least I could do. I'm giving that to you, so don't hesitate to use it as much as you like. Go out and turn right where the road forks. You'll find a lake at the end of the road. You'll be able to fill up your canteens there. Very well. Gotcha. By the way, what was with the knight who was here? He was guarding me all night. I was so nervous. One lie after another. That was a supervisor. The knights are here to make sure that townspeople don't talk freely to visitors from outside of town. What? Why would they do something like that? I don't understand the reasons, but it's on the Magistrate's orders. People other than merchants like myself aren't allowed out of their houses. What? I see. That's why we didn't see any townspeople outside. What? I wonder if there's a crooked Magistrate here too. Yeah, you think? <laughs> there was no Magistrate in this town until recently, and then finally he arrived. Oh, do tell. Is it... Say the name, is it Kumor? Really? Yes. The Imperial Knights have started to move into Nordopolica of late. It seems they may have already gone into Arrest Bellius. Oh, what? The appointment of a new Imperial Magistrate to our town seems to be related to that as well. The Imperial Knights are going to Arrest Bellius? They say that Bellius had something to do with engineering the Great War behind the scenes. Uh-huh. Bellius did that? That's what they're saying in town. Is that true, though? Well, I don't think the Empire will be able to do much so long as Palestrale is there, but... Well, so that makes sense. That's why, um... What's-his-face? Uh... Jaeger wanted to get rid of Palestrale. <laughs> Thank you very much for your business. Wait! 
but can't talk anymore. Yeah, thanks for the help. Let's go fill up at the lake. Can't talk anymore. This doesn't seem fucking creepy as shit. <laughs> Alright. Let me go ahead and save. And let's go fill up at the lake. Let's go do it. I have a I have a feeling we're gonna have to manage our stamina slash water slash whatever. Um as we journey through the desert. So here we are at the lake. Fill up our uh, canteens here. We've filled up our water. I think we're ready to go. All right. Right. Stop it! Let's go. What? What's Bad going boys on? And girls that break curfew must be punished by the magistrate. I don't think so. No way! We're going to look for mommy and daddy. Leave these children to me. I'll see that they're properly disciplined. Stay out of this, stranger. Please, forgive these children. I will go and apologize in person to the magistrate on their behalf. Hey, wait, aren't you? My deepest apologies. Yeah, you better apologize. Do you think that maybe I could have handled that better? I don't know. It seemed like you handled it pretty well. Hey, it worked, didn't it? Thanks for saving us from those bad guys. What are your names? My name's Alp. My sister's Layla. What happened to your mom and dad? They got taken into the desert in the magistrate's big wagon. Well, that doesn't sound good. Someone told me they're going to look for Pharaoh. Pharaoh? Interesting. Yeah. But what do you think they're planning on doing once they find him? And using the townspeople to do their dirty work? It's despicable. Hey, yeah. hey, bro, are we gonna go look for mommy and daddy? Yeah, sounds like the magistrates, all the magistrates, and pretty much the whole empire seems corrupt as shit. No, you're not. Hmm. If you kids go into the desert, you'll die for sure. <laughs> Judith! <laughs> we'll look for your parents. You kids can't go out into the desert. Really? I don't lie. You don't mind, do you, Carol? Just taking on another job. Nope. Fine by me. You're surprisingly agreeable. His guild is guided by justice, after all. Thanks, everyone! Here, take this, because you're so nice. What we get? A glass bead? It's a precious gem. It's our reward for taking the job. I guess so. Now that we've gotten paid in advance, we've got our work cut out for us, don't we, Carol? Yeah, we better deliver. Yeah, you're right. Got a glass marble. But what concerns me is that the Empire is investigating Pharaoh. Yeah, that seems a little weird. All right. Well, time to go out into the desert and see what all is up with that. Hopefully we'll get some kind of an answer. Here we go. Oh, what up? Why would someone set up a barrier in a place like this? Actually, they discovered the Blastia at the bottom of the oasis and have just been using it as is. A nice person in town told me that. And with it sunk in the oasis, no one could move it. So I guess they had to leave it where it was. No one would trudge out into a scorching wasteland like this just to set up a barrier. No, oh, that explains it. Guess there's a reason for everything. There you go. I'm interested that somebody in town told you, though. I thought they weren't allowed to talk to us. Yuri? What's the matter? I don't know. What's the matter? I was just thinking about what the magistrate here could be planning. Yeah? It's so strange that he'd be looking for Pharaoh. Though I guess it makes sense if the Empire wanted to eliminate a monster that was trying to kill the princess. But they don't know that he's after Estelle yet, do they? Doesn't seem like it, unless they have more information than we think they do. So why are they going after him then? How should I know? And we still don't know why there's a curfew in the town. Anyway, first we should go to the sands of Kagor. Right. We can look into the mysteries of this town once we come back. I have a feeling it's all going to be related. If we don't rescue those kids' parents soon, they'll keel over in this heat. That's true. So then, to get to the middle of the desert, we should go through here, right? Yes. I think the parents of those children were probably taken this way, too. All the stars are going to align in the same place, I believe. All right, let's go. 
got like three or four things open here, and they're all leading to the same place. What up, Estelle? What up? What up? You seem uneasy. You seem uneasy, Estelle. This looks great. The Sands of Kagur. Alright, what's the gimmick here? What do we gotta do? There's no shade anywhere. Never imagined it would be this hot. Nobody'd last long out here without the proper supplies. What's with him? He looks like he's out for a walk in the park. Hey, old man. Aren't you hot? Hot? Uh, heck yeah. Uh, I'm sizzling over here. Uh, burning right up. Uh-huh. That lousy. I feel like the temperature goes up every time somebody says the word hot. Hot. We'll be fine, so long as we remember to keep our water well stocked. Right, the cacti. The parents of those children are out there with no supplies whatsoever. So they're probably dead. We do have Pharaoh to look for, but... Yes. Would it be alright if we took care of Alf and Layla's request first? Um, but... You've more than fulfilled your obligation to me. Estelle! Okay then, let's find their parents. That doesn't sound good. Was that Pharaoh? Uh, maybe. Then he really is somewhere in the desert. Settle down. You'll get plenty of attention once we're done helping those kids. Alright, so we have a water meter. We keep going and going, but all we get is more sand and more blue sky. You're doing better than me if you can look at the sky, Raven. The only thing I see is sand. How come an old fart like you has so much energy anyway? Talking's only gonna wear you out. If one of us goes down, it'd be about all we could manage to get them back to safety. And I, for one, am in no mood to be giving out piggyback rides. If I collapse, Raven, you can carry me. Sorry, but this back's reserved yeah, for geez. ladies only. I'll die before I collapse. I won't let myself be a burden either. The same goes for me, of course. Hey, there's no reason to go stomping on an old man's feelings, is there? I mean, you're a creeper, so yeah. Alright, so, we got a water meter, and it's slowly going down, and I don't want to bother myself with too many enemies. I'm not sure what this is. Is this just decoration, or is this a thing? No, it's decoration. We got a cacti. Let's fill up our water here. But this is... Ow! <laughs> What an idiot. Use your head a little. Smack it with your sword. Looks like this situation calls for a little extra help. Or the sorcerer's <laughs> ring. I guess that works too. Canteen filling time. Me next. We need to make sure to keep hydrated. Right. We wouldn't want to get sunstroke. If everyone's finished, let's go. All right. You lose HP gradually as you walk. Oh, when the water level is zero, then you start to lose HP. Watch your canteen as you advance. Got it. Okay, so we come back to places like this and and hydrate. So I don't really know where I'm going. It's a fixed map. Or a fixed camera. So I'm just going to keep going forward, I guess. Oh. Oh, it's nighttime. All right, so let's go ahead and, oops, there we go. Fill up our canteen. So we can see a little bit better, but we still can't see any more than what they're showing us. Oh, what up? You better stop plodding along like a zombie, or you'll only make yourself more tired. I think I'm doing pretty well for myself, man. How are you in such good spirits? Some people take pleasure in the suffering of others. Why I oughta? Don't Why I oughta? That sort of peppiness simply isn't healthy. Hey, did you hear a voice? I did not hear a voice. No, not at all. Are you hearing voices, Rita? By the way, why were you in this desert before? I used to live in a town up in the mountains to the north of here, together with my friend Ba'ul. Ah, your friend. Is that your dragon? I mean, totally not your dragon. So, I sometimes came down near the desert. All the way to the desert? Anyway, we hardly have time to look for anything out here. 
What with this heat? I imagine it's supposed to be cold right now because it's nighttime in the desert, and that usually means really cold. Seriously, if we run out of water, we'll be goners. We need to find something like a clue soon. Yes. All right, well, we'll keep looking, I guess. Got all these enemies. I'm not really interested in the enemies. I just kind of want to get through the desert. Fill up the water again. All right, I'm just kind of going forward until I see something interesting. I know there was another way to go back that way. Go ahead and pop this on. Pop this in. There's a treasure chest. I'm not out here treasure hunting, though. There might be all kinds of treasure chests. I'm not really going to worry myself about them. What's over here? Anything good over this way? Is this uh, the end of the map? Can we just go on? Or is that a dead end? No, that's a dead end. Fuck. That's going to be an encounter link. I'm taking you down. Oh, no, it isn't. Okay. Alright, well, that's fine. Yeah, see, we got, like, icy enemies, because it's cold at night. Oh, also, I think I have arts turned off for some of my characters, don't I? Um, yeah. Let's turn those back on, because we had to turn those off for uh, with the boss enemy that we had to fight in the last episode. But, uh, we can turn that stuff back on now. Definitely turn that stuff back on now. Get out of here. Get out. Get out. What the hell? I, I thought I did the thing. I guess I didn't do the thing. Guess I didn't do the thing. Oh, well. All right, so we're going back this way. Um, now I'm not totally sure where to go. Maybe we need to go this way. There's a treasure chest over here. Oh, leave me alone. <laughs> Got a weapon. There's plenty of water, but oh crap. I am gonna hit up this cactus. Alright, we have no healer right now, so we gotta be very careful. I mean, we can always run, but that's alright. We'll let these guys uh, have it have their turn in battle for a while. Everybody can learn some stuff. Yeah, there we go. What are you? Superstar O. Okay. There we go. Did the thing and did it successfully that time. I'll break your guard eventually. Come on. Doing well for ourselves, not having any healer. Go. I'm not done. And I got a level up. Awesome. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and hit up this cactus. There we go. Look at the cactuses. The cacti saving the day here. Alright, so this was obviously a direction we needed to go. Another treasure chest. Phoenix guard. That'll be good. What do we have over here? This better not be a dead end. <laughs> oh, God. It's gonna be a dead end. Oh, no. Hope not lost. Yeah, we shouldn't be coming back this way, I imagine. <laughs> Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Nope. Give me that. So I definitely can't go up here. This is just a dead end. Oh no, this is a okay. I'm out of water. We're not out of water. We're good. Don't go drinking all of it. Thanks, Yuri. Hey. Do you think we could uh, take five? And you say I'm the one always wanting to rest. Yeah! 
What? Huh? The heat's gone and baked his brains. Is that a mirage? Water! Oh, no. Carol, be careful. You'll hurt yourself if you fall. <laughs> Looks like he still had plenty of energy. Wait up for old Raven! And here I thought they couldn't bear to go another step. But is it actually water or is it a mirage? Oh no, that's water. <laughs> that's some water. Oh, I think I'm in heaven. So we found we found something here. I thought we were really done for. Hey now, you gotta be tougher than that if you're gonna save the world, kids. Shut up. It'll be dangerous if we just keep going like this. If we turn back now, though, we'll only disappoint those poor children. We've got to keep looking as long as we can. If we're lucky, we may even find Pharaoh along the way. That's right. And with this spring, we shouldn't have any trouble keeping up the search. If you've already eaten the poison, you may as well lick the plate. <laughs> okay, what a saying, man. Yeah, you're right. We've come this far. How about your water bottle, Carol? Did you fill it up? Here. I filled them for you. Here's yours, Rita. Thanks, Judith! Thanks. Everybody else all set? Yes. All right, let's keep moving. Oh, was that only a brief respite? Seems like it's a brief respite. We got a, uh... It's a really nice-looking area, though. We have a treasure chest over here, and we have a save point. So I think, guys, this seems like a really good spot to go ahead and wrap up today's episode. So we're going to go ahead and save here, and we will end off for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed... Please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below, and make sure you are subscribed for more Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition. Next time, we're going to continue on in the Sands of Kagor. I have no idea how long that's going to be. Um, I don't know if like we're halfway through or, or what, or we might be close to the end. I don't know. Um, so hopefully we'll get through that, and I imagine we will find Pharaoh and the parents and all the other things are probably all going to be in the same place. That's my guess. Um, and I'm wondering, maybe we're gonna have to fight Pharaoh at some point in the next episode. I don't know, but i uh, interested to find out. So I'm very excited for that. I hope you are too. I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>